national emblem, the harp of Ireland, and what a beautiful artist we've got sitting next to it, Deirdre Maher, but very importantly, her mother is an O'Leary, so uh, we're we oh. bringing, bringing the O'Leary story to life today. Deirdre is living in Inchila, and uh, she is in between her studies, She's, um, she, music is her field, so I'd like to introduce you to Deirdre, and maybe Deirdre will say something about what she's just played and we invite her to entertain us some more. Thank you. Um, so that was just a slow tune there called Isle of Woods, written by um, a fiddle player actually from America, Liz Carroll. Um, I'm trying to think what I could play now. Um, I'll play another slow piece and it's called With a Love That's True and um, I learned it off a uh, CD of a piano player called Porrick O'Reilly and I'm not sure where he's from. <laughs> Thank you. 
So De uh, Deirdre's family, um, Deirdre grew up in Dublin and her family were always steeped in the music uh, of our country, very much involved with competitive uh, mus music festivals throughout the country. And the harp is not the only instrument you play. No, I play fiddle as well. Fiddle as well, yeah. yeah. And uh, last year you were, uh, you were uh, entertaining people in Killarney for the right throughout the, the summer season. Yeah, we were doing a show in the Killarney Avenue Six mm -hmm. nights a week for seven months. Yeah, and I got the pleasure of being at the at at the show one night, and it was wonderful. But just to listen to the harp and its own today is very very magical. And I suppose we're the only nation in the world that the harp is a musical instrument and is our crest. So it it's very much beloved of the people, I'm sure. Yeah. Um. And have you 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 you've I had to do music at college, so you, yeah. you, you've done a degree and now you're doing a master's in the, arts in arts management, that's right, yeah. So, um, is, is, I suppose it's, it, other, I saw you bring in the harp, it's easy enough to bring around and the acoustics of it are, are amazing. I thought maybe there was a battery in there somewhere, <laughs> but it, it, it's yeah. sounding beautiful. It's really awesome. And the first two pieces you played are slow airs, isn't it? I was just saying earlier on that uh, we've been talking a lot about the history of in Chigila and in very early um, days, I was only about eight and I was at a talk given in the village hall by a Cork historian and he was talking about the military barracks in Chigila and he said there was a, a red-haired harpist employed to entertain the military in the barracks so uh, there's a tradition of harp playing but it, it's, uh, it, it's, it's a beautiful instrument and I'm sure we will be encouraged that you, you might play another one or two pieces for us. When we've got you at all, you know, uh, she's, she's in the middle of this virus, uh, the lockdown, so that's why we're so lucky that she's available to us today. And uh, I hope you're enjoying our programme. We've become very cultured now. We started on the roadside, but we're, we're coming to the parlour now of, of, of uh, uh, the, the very high Irish culture. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> O'Leary and her mother, uh, mother's people uh, lived in Inchgeel. Her, her grandfather lived in Inchgeel and taught in the school here, but the family lived in Dublin subsequently. But now they've moved back, and uh, uh, your dad, Nessa, and Timmy are very involved with our local development group, Crina Lee. And last year you were very involved, yourself included, in starting at the pop up shop in the village, which was a, 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 a it was. It was a great success because uh, the local um, artists and uh, craftspeople got together in the little shop across the street and they ran right through the summer season with a, a sale. You enjoyed yeah. working with it yeah. and your mum and dad were very much kind of shopkeepers now and again yeah. Yeah, right. and uh, they, they brought the thing together. It was difficult but it was, it was exciting and, and it made the village uh, an interesting place to visit last summer uh, and at the moment even though there are no competitions on uh, they're working very much to uh, improve the appearance of our village and 
we don't have to worry about appearance because we have lovely young artists like that around. Uh, we, we will be known far and wide. But it's, it's amazing what a little village can generate. And uh, we're so happy. You're living here now for over two years. Uh, nearly two years. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's marvellous what, uh, you know, energy and uh, music that you and your family have brought. Uh, your mother is unavailable for interview today. I think she's uh, she's <laughs> she's saving herself for another one of our programs. So no, thank you.